Why use a grey layer in your workflow? The easiest way to explain it is using a grey layer is working non-destructively on a layer when you're processing your image or photo. For example, when dodging and burning. When I dodge to add light in certain areas or I will burn to dull an area down, I always work on a grey layer. The technique I will show you is how I use dodge and burn in my workflow and I've been using this one for a number of years. Let's dive in, have some fun with dodging and burning on a grey layer. You can add a grey layer anywhere in your workflow. This image I've finished my processing and now I want to add some light in certain areas to bounce the viewer's eye around the image. For example, I would like to add some light in the eyes, on the foliage in the foreground, and maybe a bit more light in the background to give depth. And one technique that I use is dodging, and I use the brush tool to add light. But first, before I do that, I need to get a grey layer. Let's go up to Layer, Choose New, Choose Layer, now, I would call this the dodge layer, it just is good housekeeping. The trick now is to change the mode from normal to soft light. I'm going to come down here in the blend mode, choose soft light, and when you do that, you get filled with soft light and it's 50% gray. I'll click in the check, check box and I'll go okay. And what you'll see over in the layer stack now is a grey layer. Now there are dodge and burn tools in the tools, but I use the normal paintbrush. I'll come here, I'll click on my brush. I want to make sure that the foreground is white because I'm adding light. So I'm just going to click on that little arrow, make sure I get white. Now I'll come up here and change the opacity. If you have it at 100%, it would be quite strong. I'm going to put it at about 14% and it will just give a little bit more of a light. I'm exaggerating so that you can actually see what I'm doing. I'll make the brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to sweep across this foliage where I want that light. And as I mentioned, it's about getting the viewer's eye to bounce around the image. I'm going to add some light just in here at the background. And this is what I call sculpting light. Now I want to add some light into the eyes. And to do that, I need to make sure I've got my brush tool. I'm on white. Let's have a look at the opacity, 14%. I might bump that up a little bit and this is where you play with the opacity depending on the light or the strength of light that you want. Let's come down here and zoom in and let's click on the eyes. Now that is a bit bright to what I normally would do, but it shows what I'm actually doing, putting dodging into those eyes. Let's have a look now and think, well, where do I want light? to be in the image. Is there any other areas that I could add light? I might want to add a little bit of light in here. Now I look at the opacity now and I go, that's too strong. So I'll come back and I dial down the opacity around about, let's go 13, make the brush a little bit bigger. And I could just come along here and add light. Now what you can see over in the layer stack is that gray layer with the areas that I've dodged or painted in the light. If I turn that layer off and on, and you can definitely see a difference. What I've done using a gray layer is I've worked non-destructively on the pixels. I'll turn that layer on and you can see there's the light, but I'm going to turn it off for a reason now. I'm going to click on layer one, and this is what I call a pixelated layer. It's the pixels, either in a photo or in your digital art. 
If I started to dodge and burn on this layer, I'm working destructively. What happens if I want to put some light in, but I don't like where I put the light in and I want to get rid of it? Well, how would you get rid of it? You could erase it, you could use the removal tool, but again, you're playing with the pixels. And that is why I use the gray layer. I'm going to click on the gray layer and turn it on. Now, I've painted all that light in, but I don't actually like it. I can now delete this layer if I don't want all that lighting. I'm going to come down to the bottom, delete, and that gets rid of that gray layer. I'm going to put another gray layer in and I'm going to do some burning. Let's come up to layer, new, layer, change the blend mode to soft light, click in fill with soft light, 50% grey and click on OK. Now what I want to do is use the normal paintbrush or the brush tool. I'll come down to the foreground, now it's white. To do the burning all I need to do now is change to black on the foreground. I work on the grey layer I'll come up now, look at the opacity, it's 13%, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to brush across some areas where I want to dull down that light. Again, it's about sculpting light and shade in your image. As mentioned before, it's good housekeeping to name your layers so you know what you've done through your workflow. Over here on the layer stack, I'm going to double click on layer 2 and I'll just type in burn. Now what I want to do is add or sculpt in light. So I need another grey layer. I'm going to come up to layer, new, layer. I'll call that dodge. Might help if I can spell. I'm going to get soft light, click in the 50% grey and click on OK. I've got my brush tool, I need to change the foreground to white. Let's come up and have a look at the opacity, 13%. Going to put it up to 30 so you can actually see what I'm doing. Just brush across some light not being too fussy, it's just about the concept. Now I think, oh hold on a minute, that's a bit too bright over there. What I can do is come back, change the foreground to black. Because I'm working with my brush tool, I can go back and burn over that area to make it dark. Now I have two grey layers where I've done some dodging and burning. Now I can continue on with my workflow. So for example, I might want to put a levels in. I'm going to be quick and choose auto and let's see what it does. I can continue on with my workflow depending on what you're wanting with your image. If I want to add some more light, I can add another gray layer. Dodging and burning this way gives you the flexibility to work with the brush tool, black or white. It also is about working non-destructively. For example, let's say that I don't like the light that I put into the image here. I can come down, click on that gray layer and I can delete that layer. And that's the benefit of working with a gray layer. There is one thing to keep in mind that, for example, after this layer, if I used a stamp visible layer, Control or Shift D, which has now become a pixelated layer on top, I can't come back and delete that burn or gray layer because it's merged into this top layer. So you can see I've turned that layer on and off and it's not making any difference. So I'm going to delete that stamp visible layer. And the tip that I will give is that 
If you're going to add curves or levels or do any other adjustment layers, you keep working on that and you only use a stamp visible layer when you actually want. I tend to do my sculpting light more towards the end of my workflow after I've got all my color grading elements, I've got it looking exactly where I want it to be, then I start to sculpt in the light and shade. This is about working with the grey layer, working non-destructively and the benefits of it. Thank you for watching and if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe. Have fun being creative.